hello welcome back to my channel i just thought i'd um come back with a um quick little haul video so i don't usually buy large amounts from one company at a time but this time i did buy quite a bit from the um recent spring warehouse sale from spell wonders because it was such a good deal on a lot of things there so i thought i'd just come in and show you what i bought um and what i'm hoping to be playing with not necessarily on videos but um, as part of my card challenge that I'm doing. Okay, so um, these embossing fold, uh, yeah, the embossing folders, they were mostly five pound each. Um, so I've got this lovely one, um, which is splatter. I think that's just a 2D one. Okay, um, I've got this 3D um, puff dotty, so they're just large circles. So I thought that's gonna add some nice texture. I've got the dazzling dots. Um, that again, I think it's just a 2D one. I say just a 2D one, but I'm sure it's going to look stunning. Okay, sorry, the light is quite bright up above. Um, I've got the Argyle, Argyle socks, again a 2D one. These, I think, are 5 by 7 um, I've got this one, this is the Holly Flourish. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmassy, although you have got these little sprigs of holly, but I think it would be quite hard, um, quite easy to um, hide those um, or on a card or if not I mean even if I just used it for Christmas that's still fantastic then I've got these optical arches you can see they're lovely really sort of um, in the UK we have a thing a program that used to be rainbow so um, this sort of reminds me of their logos and these again were five pound these hot foil plates so you've got the um, Geo Snowflakes, but I thought that could really be any occasion. You see that's a good size. I can use my embossing mat. I can use that to just emboss with as well. I've got Glimmering Swag. And that's that one there again, another good size. Then this one is the Cross Lines card front. And it's also got a text one with a little something special just for you. So that's a fantastic one. Um, the plaid tidings background again doesn't have to be Christmas can be any time that's super heavy that one this um, I saw on um, a creative muse she uses this quite a lot Suzanne um, and she did it she used it on some Halloween did she use it on Halloween or did she use it on the dragon she might have used it on both actually she's used it quite a few times um, but that's another hot foil plate that I'm looking forward to having a little play with as well. That's the hypnotic background. And I think you don't even have to have the whole thing. You know, just parts of it would be fantastic. And then this is the same pattern as that embossing folder. This is the dazzling di diamonds. But that's the foil plate. And then I've got some of these to try. I think they were only a couple of pounds. Um, these are the large storage pouches. There's 10 of these in here. Um, and they're 5.75 inches by 6.8125. So you're looking at just under 6 and just under 7. Um, so I thought I would try those. And then I did get one better press plate. I have got the better press, better, so I can't even speak, the better press system. Um, I haven't got a Spellbinders machine, but I have got the old um, Big Shot. So I use it with that. Um, and these are some um, fancy sentiments. That's what they're actually called, fancy sentiment strips. And you've got just saying hello, happy anniversary, love you always, especially for you. Congratulations, happy birthday, Merry Christmas and a million thanks. And you foil them all in one go and then cut them all out in one go, which I particularly like because that saves me a lot of time. And then these are some of the um, Susan Tierney Coburn um, dies. Um, this is the Glory of Snow. This was a pound. This, um, Mum used to collect these. And I've got probably about 100 of these dies from Spellbinders and before. She was at Spellbinders, she was at Tonic. And then before that, she was at another place. What was that called? I can't remember. But she was with somebody else but um a similar sort of dice and before that even there were punches and i did find one of the what was it hydrangea might have been a hydrangea punch 
that I had from that I bought before Mum even found these flowers. But this is the Glory of Snow, uh, and as you can see, it makes these pretty, pretty little flowers with these leaves, um, and they're very 3D as well. And then there's another one of these again, another pound. This is the Carolina Allspice. I've never heard of this plant, um, but that's that one there. So we'll have a little play with that at some point. And then I've been hankering for these um, for quite a while. This is the Matting Basics A and the Matting Basics B. I think these were about £13 um, each. So um, you can sort of have them at, um, I think it's a quarter of an inch if you use them on their own. But if you use them together, then it cuts that down in half. So it would be more like my normal, you know how I like that thin little layer. And then um, I've also, this collection was launched, I think, just before Christmas. There's about, I think there's about five die sets, maybe a stamp set as well. Um, but I got the t-shirt bit today. There's also like the football, rugby ball and all that sort of thing. There's another one with the numbers to put on as well. So I'm going to try and sort of slowly add those to my collection. Um, but I thought that's quite a, a cool one to start with because, you know, that goes for most mail cards. You know, you can turn the T-shirt into whatever, even if you um, didn't, uh, weren't doing it for a mail or something like that. What you could do is come in, let's say, with um, a piece of hunky-dory. Let's just put this die off and I'll show you what I was thinking. Probably wouldn't do it so much on this, maybe, but... You know, I could come in, I could cut that. That would be a really cool jumper for, or t-shirt for, for anyone. So really, really useful. Back on there. Um, so yeah, I've got those. Like I say, I am planning to get the whole set slowly. The trouble is with Spellbinders is they bring out so many lovely things that I want. And, um, you know, I mean, I've always said I love Spellbinders. Uh, dies and I've got some that I've had for since I started crafting you know so um, the other let me pop that out of the way that's hunky jewelry that we're working on um, and then the last two sets that I got were these postage edge ones so I've got the rectangles where you've got the postage edge and then you've got a little inset there with the, the dots on um, and then I've got the squares as well and I thought you know they're just gonna be useful for again I could come in with that um, let's say a rectangle I could come in with that unicorn if I wanted a different look maybe I wanted it to look like a stamp Oops, drag that out bring my little unicorn back in oh she's being overused today and then I could just pick out which size would go best on there And then I've got myself a nice stamp. So I did think they would be super useful. And with um, the cards that I'm making for a charity, I am trying to be a little bit more, um, use a bit more of my kit, should I say. So when I do the videos for Hunky Jewelry, I try and keep to the kit because I know there are people out there that don't have a die cutter, that don't want to go down that rabbit hole because believe you me, it is a rabbit hole with dies because you cannot just have one. I won't do that because it will rattle. Um, yeah, so I try and keep them pretty much to the kit. But I do have, well, I've always had this love of dies. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's going to be great to be able to sort of make cards with them and, um, you know, take myself down another little avenue of, of fun, really. That's what it, all it is, isn't it? Crafting fun. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Um, I did go back in and I have ordered some other little bits from there. I think there's like two more foiling um, plates. And I think there was another two embossing folders as well. I did go back in and get, didn't spend a lot. Mm, money spider. Um, yeah, so I didn't spend a lot. So I have got a few more little bits to, to come. But I won't do a video on them because there's only going to be four things that would be very short video but I just thought because I had done this um quite a bulk purchase of this and because it was such a good sale 
um, I thought I'd do a little video on it and just show you what you might see coming up on my Pinterest pages in the future. Um, hopefully there will be some videos at one point. I do need to play with my systems a little bit to um, work out how I am going to do that. Uh, it's it's difficult to die cut. It takes a lot of time, the die cutting one. So whether um, I'm going to go down the route of die cutting everything first of all, I don't know. But it needs a little bit more thought and I'm probably still not quite ready enough to be thinking about new things. I'm going to stick with what I know, which is the hunky jewellery. I'm really loving that at the minute. Um, and just having a play with these others, just getting my hand back in basically. But if you've managed to get any nice things from that Spellbinders sale, let me know. Uh, let me know what you've got, or what you're looking forward to having a little play with. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time with those unicorns. And that video should be tomorrow. Okay then, thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting. Bye bye.